Hello, welcome back to another Dance TV. This one is a bit different. We're carving. So, let me show you what we're going to do. <clears throat> so, this is a job that we um, skimmed over like a couple of weeks. It was like a, not a hospital job, but we did a bit and then we went off and did a couple of jobs, a couple of conservatory roofs, and then we came back and we've skimmed it and it's just been ongoing. So, I didn't record it. So, anyway, that's that reason why you haven't seen any of it before. So, we've skimmed it all. So the next thing is having carving all the way around. So I thought I'd show you how to carve. So how I'm going to go about it is, good thing to mention, when you're carrying carving, especially this is a good one for apprentices, always carry it on its edge. I can show you the carving. <coughs> so that's the carving. It's used on its edge. That's on its back. If you carry it like that, that length, when you're bouncing or if you put it on your shoulder or anything like that, with the bounce, it'll snap. You only do it once and then you learn. So if you turn it on its side like that, it can't snap. That's a good tip for you. And then I'll show you. I'm going to get set up. got my mitre. need one of these carving miters. So I'm going to get my mitre. I'm going to cut some angles. What I tend to do is cut... Full box of carving cut a load of um, left handers. So then every left hander is cut, and then you just measure the length and cut the right hander. So that's what I'm going to do. Liam's just mixing up. I'm going to get the carving, and I've got two boxes, which probably two lengths too much, but you, you've got a bit of room for mistake. The, the way I'm going to start, <coughs> I'm going to always start with this external. Any external, you want to get it on as quick as you can. Cut yourself a template, so a left hand and a right hand piece of scrap, so you can offer it up and test. I'll show you that. So we're going to go here. Um, external cut first, and then like I say, I can just cut the, the, the left hand off every one, and I'll just go around like that, and we'll just see. You know what I'm going to do there? I'll have to just leave it short. That's being boxed in, so I'll probably just go square there and butt it up to there. <clears throat> then he can do what he wants with it then <clears throat> right first thing you do on the actual carving layer oh there's not anymore usually says ceiling edge but so what you're going to have to do what I would do is just use that label so the label that's that's the top that's the bottom doesn't really matter as long as you stick them all the right way you wouldn't think it matters but it does for some reason So, quick tip for you. That's the top, that's the bottom. It goes on like that. That's the ceiling edge. Right, you have to. You've got to have a bit of a think about it. Not just straightforward than us. <coughs> That's a good start. Got it the wrong way. For the third and final time. How big are your tits? For the third and final time. 
Are you big? Are you tits? So if you look at that, it's all bashed where it's been in the van and moved around. If you're cutting off anyway, don't have to worry about it. <coughs> right, let's cut this so Tape measure, I don't know why I keep saying so, but I do. That is 101. 101 Dalmatians. And that is 15 and a half. 15 and a half. Right. So. That's the internal, so I want 101 I'll give you another great tip here Use your knife Use your knife to mark it It's better because it's a thinner mark Like the Japanese Japanese joinery they use knives to mark it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's 101 to the wall, but you need, so that's the mark, you need to cut an external angle. <clears throat> so, when I cut this, it'll cut an external angle, but that'll be an internal angle, and that's your external angle. Does that make sense? That was on there. Bloody lovely. So then I need an external angle that way. So that'll be my template. So that's going to check all my angles. Be very carefully how much you mix, lad. Don't waste it all. Mix just what we need. You can always mix a bit more if you need it. I'd say about, you want about two inches of stuff at bottom. Yeah. Because it, it, you want it to, to, you want it to stay workable, you know what I mean? So if it starts going off, starts going thick, you can bin it off. And you're not wasting it. Oh, 
Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, that's right. Another good tip for you, if you can, which you should be able to do, offer it up so you've got it where it needs to be, perfect like that. The camera can get it, so you're happy at that, aren't you there? Then draw a line, and when you offer it up, perfect. Then you know that's right, and that'll just squeeze in nice. The back heel of cooker. <coughs> so then we'll measure this. You can't measure it here, because that's no good, you need to measure it where it is, because it can alter a slight bit. I would cut that 192 and a half would be tight, so I would cut that 192, just to give me, just to give me a smidgen. <coughs> so, I've cut all my right handers, so I just need to cut a left hander now. So one nine two and a half. One nine two. Mark it with your knife. Just takes a bit of getting used to and a bit of thinking. But once you suss out, once you suss out this bit, this how this works. <coughs> really is easy. Sponges in somewhere. Yeah. Another tip is if this plaster was wet, you could just do it, it wouldn't matter. But it can suck like hell. Unibond would probably help, but. wet it, it helps, helps when you're cleaning off. Right Liam, you always start, what I've done, you start with an external and you hold it up so it's perfect, then you pencil line top and bottom, you know that's going back on perfect like that. Because you can get away with the external being a bit out, but in, in Internal. Internals being a bit tight, but ex externals you can't. <clears throat> and you'll see what I mean. Is this not the first time you've called, is it, Liam? No. I didn't think it was. So. Yeah, see, that'll call probably a room, you know. Not there anymore. So with your hand and trowel, same as before, wet it, get it. How can you use the bench? 
Why not? What do I use these? Using that nail, is it? Oh. Yeah, that's the nail, hold it. Well, you really won't be on camera, do you? Oh! What I should do, really, is make you worth it. Fucking sweaty shit all over me. <laughs> Fucking wank this. What a fucking whose dicker idea was it to start a friggin' YouTube channel? Ah. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. Come here. Whose idea was it? Huh? Whose idea was it? <laughs> that means butter. You meant butter it. I thought you wanted. Oh, I thought you wanted <clears throat> to test it, offer it up. You know. No, I've already done that. I told the same to you. Oh, you've done your line. I've done the line. I've offered it up and done the line. I know it's nice. You don't want any in the joint. Oh. Snap. Beautiful. <coughs> Tick. Apprentice cam. Woo! It's a new channel. No one's ever done that before, have they? No. I didn't think of it before. Mate, you were the camera. You Genius. Know, give me all the shitty jobs, you mean. Huh? Give me all the shitty jobs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, yeah. Huh? No, I've got this big fat fucking dildo strapped to me head. <laughs> Time. Hey! I'm looking in my bedroom window. I'm watching you on camera. Oh, oh. Like that. Come on, I'm ready for this to walk. <coughs> <coughs> quick, quick, chop, chop! It's caravan day. Oh, I'm watching this one. Yeah. What? Do you mean what? You're, what are you fucking moaning at now? It's wet in it. Lift it up! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Everyone will think camera's on slow motion. Slow mo. Liam, slow mo. That's it, eh? That's it. Why don't you do the corner while you're there and get that rack on the cross? You both of them. Do the corner thinking. That's all I'm hearing. As an apprentice. Oh. Ooh. We've got that on camera then. I was bouncing it and you popped it on my head. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Take your end into the doorway. Take your end into the doorway, that's it. Then we want to offer him up. Don't squeeze him yet. You see what I mean? Look at that. Well, that can't be in the wrong place. 
That can't be in the wrong place. The angle, that angle must be. No, well, you've done a 45 degree mount and all that be 45 degrees. I know you can't go around taking them all, and how do you cut them all? You just got to cut them and pack them. That's oh, why wow. you start with that. Because if you just set that, do you understand what I'm saying? You could have moved them two and set it so it was perfect. What you're saying is that can be out, but the other one, the external. Yeah, you could get that out. perfect, but by the time you get to here, it's not. So that's why you've got to get that one perfect. That might not be right. Yeah. But there's nothing you can do, but at least you can fill that and get away with it. You can't fill that because it just looks like a big fanny. Oh, I'm going to fill that. That's what you want. One to, one to it first minute. It's not pushed in that, you know. I know it's not. You can see how you can sort of say, well, that's going to go there. Another thing you can do is, like eight and a half, if you measure down eight and a half centimetres. Well, that's here, that's here, so it's going to kick down. You can just help it make it worse. Hang on. That's what it it kind of plastering is all about, isn't it? Make everybody else's work. Very good. Sponge that off. That looks like he does. Black coffee, three sugars. Right, once you sponge that off, sponge, carry on along, roll the window, and I'll buffer this next piece. So we're going to get that wall, and then we're, oh, I'll do an external. I'm going to do a flat to an external that will meet. Let me just explain something. So that piece that I'm putting up is going up in that corner. When Liam turns around, going up in that corner, it's going to land somewhere around here. But it's got that sort of, it's got an internal angle on, on that end, right? So I'm going to cut a straight piece to fit there and then an external angle so that it will meet like that and that's how you join them. You butter that, lovely. I'll show you when it's up anyway. Right, we've nearly finished this, we've just got this last one to do, obviously we've still got that room to do. That's the external all done, that one's done and cleaned out. Wet your finger and just double it. Same with that, wet your finger and just smooth off the angle. This is the joint that I was talking about here. It needs another bit on, but I'm going to get some uh, some adhesive mix it with a touch more water just get it really creamy and just put a bit on here 
and then brush it again and it'll be lovely. Liam's just cleaning that one off, sponge that one off Liam and I'll butter, I'll butter the next one. I can cut this because it has an external so this is going to turn like it's an external angle like this one it's just going to return into the wall it's called a return so I'll stick that again stick that on first with that check that angle and then it's plain sailing I'll do the same there I'll cut that with an external angle get that on so I'll get these two on and set up that's where all the tricky stuff is I know it's done I know it's right I've tested the angle I know that's right and I can crack on right same again butter Oh, another tip for you, you try and leave it a bit thick. Offer it up. And just don't squeeze it all the way on. The same principle in it as the external angle. That has to be there, it has to be right. Oh, it will look rubbish. You're on camera! Yeah. Always struggling. You've always struggled with this, everything is flipping where. There's one ending. And that's it. Bang. That's it, the last piece of the jigsaw. The last piece of the puzzle. That's the last one in now. Oh, always stuck between a wall and a fridge. There's a bit of a bumpy wall. It's a nasty there. joint, that. Wants a, wants a nailing, maybe. Does I? I see. And you said I'm an apprentice. Prick. <laughs> but you never. Top and bottom. You'll put it in the coving. You know why? Snap the coving. You just put it, you put it like that, you'll hold it, I'll get that now. Oh, see now, we got that now. Could do with more, really. Could do with being a bit tight to that. I know, but what's that going to do? Oh, don't go crazy. Nah, do it. Once, it's once it's stable. Once it's filled, it'll be alright. Right then, cut. That's it. All done. That's being boxed in. All the joints. All nice and bonny. 
This room all done. Lovely stop end. Job done, boys. If you like this video, as always, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you next week.